So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. The teams then, Juventus against Olympiakos. I'm Peter Drury, and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. And so, the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Point. That's all that's needed for progress here. Easy to say, but at this level, anything but to achieve. So it's down to business here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Well, that's a, a toughie, but I'll go for big Giorgio Chiellini. He may not go about his business in the, in the most stylish fashion, but he's a, a dogged, committed competitor who won't back down without a fight. He's also a very big threat when it comes to set plays. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Hernanes. Moves long and forward. He scored! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. I just thought that was going to hit the outside of the post for a moment there, but it just curled enough to catch the inside for a very good strike. Juventus give themselves the perfect start. Can they build on it? You know, sometimes it just comes down to who wants it more. Who's got the passion? Who's got the pride? I think we've just had the answer to that. And the keeper turns it behind. A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was.
Juventus take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Roberto catches it safely. Masuaku. A good deal hanging on what they can achieve here. A point will do. Big relief, it just needed better contact. They caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. Pogba. And he's straight offside. Mandzukic, chance, Mandzukic, they are running riot, and they are disappearing out of sight. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. Look, I don't want to take anything away from the finish, because he ghosted his way into position, but where was the communication in that defence? Who was taking charge? Nobody. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Licksteiner looking for options. Licksteiner. Time to deliver. He's there to get rid. Has a look and has a go. Masuaku. Made sure that that won't get through. Topa! That is a routine catch. Well, that was worth the effort. I mean, it was a long way out, but he caught it so well. There he is, making his presence felt. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. Pogba shapes the shoot. And that'll be the final action of the first half. Juventus are cruising it at half time, 3 0 ahead. The last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. It's a long forward pass. And that's not going to reach. Cambiasso. That's good progress he's made on the ball. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Pogba. It's Pogba! What about it? They are running riots here. Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he's got the result there, but you really have to question that defence or lack of it.
Juventus totally rampant here. Belts one. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. And it's Brown it in. Chiellini. Morata passes it through. He's tried one! It's a goal! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Juventus tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Had a shot. Now that was quite some save. But it wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot. It was worth a try from there. thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved he gave it everything he had Juventus get dipped into their subs. Omar El Abdullahi going full steam down the flank. Who's going to make this theirs? Olympiakos look as though they're about to make a change. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Dominguez. Brown it 
Yeah, the defence had him exactly where they wanted him there. Didn't even give him the space or, or the room to turn. And I think if they can keep him facing the other way, then his threat becomes a much lesser issue. Gets good distance on it. Into the arms of the goalkeeper. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. He's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation, it's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. Marquisio hooks it upfield. Comes sliding in. And it's Mandzukic. Now the pass. And he's cut it out. Good clearance and very necessary. And there goes the final whistle. Juventus have made it through to the knockout stage. They can anticipate the draw and the challenge that lies ahead. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Early qualification is always a good bonus. They've shown resilience and strength and have all the essentials to go on a lengthy cup run. It's all looking pretty good for them.